In this problem, we're given two functions, f and g, as a set of ordered pairs, and we're asked to add, subtract, multiply, and divide them for various values of x. So for example, our first question is to find f of 7 plus g of 8. Because f and g are given as a set of ordered pairs, let me remind you that in an ordered pair, the first coordinate is the input, the second the output. With function notation, the input goes here in the parentheses with the outside having the name of the function here, f, and the output goes over here. And that's the same for the function g. The function notation for g would be g of input equals output. So when we're asked to find f of 7, we can go over here and line things up and say, well, if I'm trying to find f of 7, that means the input is 7 and we need to find the output. Well, if 7 is the input, then that means in terms of a point, it will look like this. I need to only find that second coordinate. So move over to f, because we're doing f of 7, and try to find the point whose first coordinate is 7. Here it is. If you plug in 7, this says you get out 40. So 7 comma 40 is a point. can be written in function notation as f of 7 equals 40. So since f of 7 is 40, you can replace f of 7 with the number 40. And then we're asked to add whatever we get when we do g of 8. So let's do g of 8. Lining it up with the general notation, g of input equals output, shows that g of 8 says, you're given the input's 8, please try to find the output. So in terms of a point, since the first coordinate is always the input, I'm looking for a point 8 comma something, but be careful to go to g and not f, and be careful to look for the point that 8 shows up as the first coordinate, not the second. So I see a point here, 8 comma 60. So the fact that 8, 60 is a point in the set G means that 8, G of 8 is 60. So I'll go up here and I'll replace G of 8 with 60. Since I'm asked to add the two things, I'll have 40 plus 60 or 100. So F of 7 plus G of 8 ends up being 100. So if this was my homework, I would write down the question and the answer like this. Or if it was on a test, you'd be wise to do it this way. Since MathAS already has the question written there, I need, need only come over here and type in 100. So moving along to the next one, I have g of 17 minus uh, f of 24. I'm just going to clear some of the stuff out to give room to write and start over. I might do this one without all of the details. Uh, so g of 17 minus f of 24. Let's see how that's going to work out. g of 17, I'll at least say this, that 17 is in the parentheses, so it's the input. So that would look like this is a point, And whatever the output is would be the second coordinate, and that would be the answer for g of 17. Moving over here to g, not f. Find the point whose x coordinate is 17. That's right here. It says it's 79. So I have 79 here. So g of 17 is 79. Now I go over here and I just replace g of 17 with 79. I'm supposed to subtract whatever I get when I do f of 24. So f of 24 as a point would look like parenthesis 24 comma some output here. So whatever the second coordinate of that point is will be my output for f of 24. And the first set of ordered pairs is f, and it looks like this is the point we need. 24 comma 10 says that if you input 24, the output will be 10. So f of 24 is 10. This says we're supposed to subtract the two results. 79 minus 10 is 69. So I get that all of this, when all said and done, comes out to be 69. g of 17 minus f of 24 is 69. So go into MathAS if that's where you're at. Type that in. Uh, the next question would be to take f of 7 and g of 17 and multiply them. So I have f of 7 and we have g of 17. Doing the same thing except in the end I'm not going to add or subtract. I'm going to multiply them. You don't always see a dot in there. This problem has it. If there's no dot it's just implied multiplication. So to find f of 7, since 7's in the parentheses, it's the input, so it'll be the first coordinate of the point. 
Again, be careful to go to F and be careful to make sure you're looking for the point that 7 is in the first coordinate. Here it is. Uh, F of 7 would be 40. The input's 7. The output's 40. Therefore, F of 7 is 40. And I will make that substitution up here where I see F of 7, I'll put 40. And then I need to multiply that by whatever I get when I do G of 17. So let's see here. I have G of 17 is equal to, again, just writing that down in point notation, 17 would be my first coordinate, and we're looking for its output. Uh, so looking over here at G, trying to find the point whose first coordinate is 17, here it is, it's 79. So putting that in there, I have 79. So now I just need only go over to G of 17 and substitute that with 49. And that would look like this, 40 times, oops, 40 times 79. So I'm going to go and I'm going to type that onto a calculator, which you don't see here, but take your calculator, take 40, multiply by 79. Too lazy to try to do that in my head. And that would be equal to 3,160. Again, if this was a homework question or a test question, you know, you may want to make your teacher happy and write their answer along with the question. So how did you get 3,160? Well, I got that by taking f of 7 and multiplying by g of 17. Uh, so that was 3160. My last question has me doing much of the same, except I have to divide g by f for a couple different input variables or input values. So copying down the problem I have, g of 8, we'll find that as a number. And then after we're done doing that, we'll do f of 24. That'll be some number. And then we're supposed to divide it. And over here, it says write your answer as a whole number or a reduced fraction. So we may have to reduce this since we're dealing with a fraction. We'll see how that goes. I have g of 8 is, let's see here, looking for the point on g whose first coordinate is 8. Again, make sure you go to G. I have the point 8, 60. So 8, 60 is one of the points on G. So F, excuse me, G of 8 would be 60. So coming over here, I get that G of 8 is 60. Divide that by whatever we get when we find F of 24. 24 is in the parentheses, so we're looking for it as an input. And inputs come as the first coordinate of a point, and we are on F this time. Look for the point in this set of ordered pairs whose first coordinate is 24. It's way over here. We have that if you plug in 24, you simply get out uh, 10. So f of 24 is 10. So replacing f of 24 with 10, no need for me to scramble and find a calculator this time in the middle of a video. <laughs> It'd be kind of comical if you just saw me turning on my computer, other computer in the room, finding the calculator feature. Uh, 60 divided by 10 is 6. No need to panic on my end this time. Uh, so g of 8 over f of 24 is quite simply 6. So for now on, for you video makers, if you ever have to make a video, make sure you do the problems ahead of time and have a calculator handy so you don't have to scramble in the middle of a video. Anyway, it's been fun. Thanks.